going on guys ed her here coming back at you with another video and today we are back on madden nfl 18 franchise mode for the 49ers franchise and yo i just had some hers old bay potato chips i'm like are you fucking serious so good not sponsored wish i was but for those who have been following the 49ers franchise very carefully a number of things have happened. We've expedited the franchise by simulating to the offseason of the first season to kind of, you know, move along this franchise a little bit more than it's happened. Um, so, you guys see the team. A lot of new additions, of course, on the offensive line. Uh, and I have to remember all these guys' names or learn them. As we have Josiah Mahaffey at left guard. Spencer Long, new center we signed in free agency at center. At right guard, we have Zach Kubiak, the rookie out of Michigan State, and then another rookie at right tackle in VJ Poole out of Washington State. Go Cougars. Carlos Hyde is still the running back. He has been franchise tagged. But Joey Cummings, unfortunately, does have slow development. But guess what? He could be our running back of the future. He's behind Carlos Hyde for now. And then, of course, there is Orleans Darqua. A lot of new additions to the receiving core, including Josh Gordon. We got, of course, Sanchez Heaney, the receiver out of San Diego State. Go Aztecs, right? Really fast. Kalan Adkins, who could forget about the 6'4 rookie with speed out of Akron? Shout out to Ohio. We got Trent, Trail or Trent Taylor, Aaron Burbridge, Marquise Goodwin, of course, is wide receiver number two. He's there for now until he loses that spot. We went out and traded for Janu Smith, the tight end out of FIU, going into his second year. And then on the defense side of the ball, not too much has changed as Eli Harold has worked his way into a starting role as Navarro Bowman is no longer here. Chiquisky Tart is going to start at strong safety, but we do have a rookie, Dawson Bailey out of Tennessee, that could eventually rise into the role of starting free safety or strong safety. Not entirely sure yet. And then at cornerback, a couple new additions. Willis Burdine out of Oregon, 96 speed. Very, very exciting rookie. Aaron Merritt is another one. Rookie out of Idaho State. He has a lot of potential. Big frame, six foot one. But other than that, no real additions to the team. Go to the specialist. Brandon McManus is our new kicker. We still have Bradley Pinion. Robbie Gold is still on the roster. Not sure why. Veteran leadership, who knows. Sanchez Heaney's returning kicks along with rookie running back Joey Cummings. Sliders have also changed. We have, of course, or we are, of course on all madden and our sliders have changed a little bit to be you know a little bit more fun a little bit how i want the series to play and a little bit harder per usual <laughs> always amping up the difficulty but not so much to the point of where it was uh in season number one for the first couple of games that was ridiculous but some of the most funny videos i've posted on youtube if you guys haven't checked those out it's in the 49ers franchise playlist and um here are the sliders if you want to check them out not going to stop and go over them. Just, we'll probably tweak these along the course of this season. But these are all of the sliders. think this is going to make the franchise play really well. And of course, season game, week one, at home versus the Denver Broncos. But first, we have to set a season goal for wins. And we had a lot of new teams. Jimmy G's our quarterback. We're going for 11 wins. 11 wins for this 49ers team. It's a good-looking team. If players can develop the way I expect them to, we're going to be in for a very, very good treat. I'm going to use some of my coach XP if I can, and then I'll see you guys in the game. All right, here goes nothing. The start of Season 2. We are kicking off. It's Brandon McManus with the boot, the iron boot. Here we go. That ball is up, and that ball will be at the front of the end zone. Emmanuel Sanders to return. And he is going at the speed of light. What are you running, 15 miles per hour? What are you doing? All right, to be fair, 15, like, isn't that slow for someone actually running. Like, it's not fast, but it's not that slow. As CJ Anderson is the tailback. First and 10. Who's our quarterback? Is that Trevor Simeon? Trevor Seaman? It is. Throw at me. We're going for interceptions this year as that passes outside to AJ Derby. Incomplete. All right, come on. Second and 10. You guys suck. All right, Ray Ray Armstrong we're using. Let me get CJ Anderson to the flat. Wide open. Oh, I fucking suck. Oh, my God. Just running by. I'm expecting it to kind of lock on a little bit. 
and uh, it's I feel like it dragged me down there. That is a thing you'll hear me routinely complain about is when I feel like I get sucked down, which I probably should figure out like a new s a slang for that so you don't. I I'm not even gonna say. Um, but oh, pressure! Guess to the quarterback, it's Eric Armstead. Armstead who brings down Trevor Simeon. Uh, kind of screwed up there, but yeah, I feel like I get sucked down a lot when I'm trying to uh, make tackles and and shoot gaps. Which is better than than shooting suck. I don't know. Uh, C.J. Anderson, ball carrier, he's wrapped up. Gain of about one or two. Jimmy Garoppolo takes the field for his full first full season as a starter. Johnu Smith is in the backfield. We're gonna get the ball to him. There's Jimmy Garoppolo. Johnu makes some plays. All right, five yards. Josh Gordon out there wide, looking to get him high up on the field, which is something he's used to. Second and five, though, and we're going to shoot Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon makes a play on the ball. Way to go. We're cooking here early. Josh Gordon knows all about that. Maybe not about cooking. I'm not. He's, he's not a heroin guy, but uh, he knows something about uh, blazing down the field, if you know what I mean. All right. I'm going to throw again. We're going to go outside. Jimmy Garoppolo looking sharp as ever. Third and six. We haven't seen Carlos Hyde get much going yet. No carries on the first drive. Here's third and six. He is franchise tag. We're going to go outside, though. It's Sanchez Heaney. Did he make that catch? No way. No way. The rookie with some speed, Sanchez Heaney, gets his feet down and makes an incredible catch on the sideline. That's unbelievable. Here's Jimmy Garoppolo as the 49ers will continue to throw. Jimmy, crossbody, finds Jonu Smith. Jonu cannot be stopped. He's a beast. End zone. Touchdown. Jonu Smith shows off his strength, gets his first career touchdown as he fights off two would-be tacklers here. Oh, my word. You're going to see us in a lot of nickel this year trying to get Aaron Merritt, the rookie, involved. We think he can make great plays. When given the opportunity, as this looks to be a run, C.J. Anderson up the middle, but there's DeForest Buckner. Third-year player now out of Oregon. Pretty good season last year, looking to uh, get even better. He's having a great season in the NFL, but that's that doesn't exist. Because in this fake land, the real land is fake. Pass is complete to the ancient Antonio Gates. Surprised he can still move his legs, but he does and finds the first down. That pass is going to be thrown. Oh my goodness, Jaquiski Tart lays a gigantic boomstick as uh, the rookie Willis Burdine is beat by Demarius Thomas. Hey rookie, welcome to the NFL. Am I right? All right, whatever. Is that a run? No, it's play action. Reuben Foster over the middle and he is beat. It's a receiver on a linebacker. And the linebacker was me and I'm incompetent in zone coverage and franchise as uh, whoever this Anderson fellow is. Gets into the end zone for the touchdown on the post up the middle. Sanchez Heaney, we're going to return this one. Get the rookie some action. He made a great play. There's a spin move. Marquise Goodwin could never have done that. He's still on the team. I mean, we're not going to talk shit about him like he's not. He's still on the team. He's just never going to return kicks again unless everyone on our entire roster gets injured. I will have trent brown returning kicks before marquise goodwin because trent brown could probably make a spin move happen at least a little bit faster as jimmy g goes down and there's an injury don't let it be garoppolo garoppolo goat no he gets up is that von miller down i'll take that second and 20 no better time to run the ball right ben mcadoo carlos Hyde just got fucked all right not a great start to his second year here in the franchise rookie joey cummings is going to check in as the third down back and he could cream all over this defense, given the opportunity. We're going to have him block, though. Garoppolo rolling out. Throws. It's a beautiful touch pass to Josh Gordon. He didn't keep his feet in bounds. No. Great catch regardless. We're going to take a look at it in the replay mode. And look at this touch pass. Josh Gordon caught the ball. There's one foot. And uh, decides to be a ballerina and not get the other one down. Like he's being kissed in a movie. Get your, your back foot down, Josh. I will say, though, Josh Gordon still has impressed in his 49ers debut so far. As Aaron Merritt, the rookie, lays a huge boomstick. That's why we're looking to get him out there in the nickel a lot. Make big plays. We know he can do it. Is that a run? We're going to shoot the gap. Someone get pressure on the quarterback. It's DeForest Buckner. With the sack. -ner. 
Some of the things I've said thus far are absolutely deplorable. Welcome to this channel, second and 18. Seaman, back to throw. We're gonna go underneath. Back up, it's a user pick! Easy reads! Good night, Moon, it's Ruben Foster! Getting in there with the interception. Seaman could not find the hole that time and was clogged up and couldn't come out on top with that throw. Here's the first and 10 now for the 49ers taking over. And it's Carlos Hyde up the middle. He gets close to the first down on what appears to be an eight or nine yard gain. Coming up with a pretty strong box as well. We're gonna stay through the air, looking for a receiver. We're going underneath. It's Marquise Goodwin, the now veteran 27 year old out of Texas. Hook him horns for the first down. Joey Cummings checks into the game. And we got another guy out here in this game as Joey Cummings breaks a tackle. Thought he was wrapped up there. Maybe got a yard. We got another guy with this duo. Could you imagine Trevor Seaman and Joey Cummings were on the same team? And bang, it's Jimmy and shut up. All right. Second and eight. Carlos Hyde back in the game. We're going to follow this way. And blocks are shed nearly instantly. Instantaneously, Carlos Hyde has nowhere to go. Going to be third and eight now. What is Bengus Khan going to dial up? Here's third and eight. Oh my goodness. That is an errant throw if I've ever seen one. Jimmy Garoppolo throws it in coverage and Chris Harris Jr. could have a return here. Sanchez Heaney can't get him. Jimmy Garoppolo goat can't get him. Joey Cummings, why would you dive there? Okay, that's what a 98 yard, 99 yard pick six for Chris Harris Jr. That ball was, uh, was not thrown in the correct spot. We'll take another look. Clearly it was because he was under pressure and throws the ball in just a poor spot and Chris Harris is right there to get it. It was a dangerous throw and after the Reuben Foster interception, we cannot capitalize. You know, interceptions are going to happen. This is a harder difficulty now and uh, I cannot read. I am very similar to Floyd Mayweather in a number of aspects. Um, I, I'm black. All right, I'm not black, but I certainly can't read. At least not a defense, even in Madden. Uh, in real life, I'm a, I'm a little bit better. As Kalan Atkins is out there now. A couple of new receivers after some are gassed. And Garoppolo's going to take a chance for him. Kalan Atkins can't haul it in. No. That would have been so good. That ball is a little bit underthrown, if you ask me. Atkins right back out there. Our resident dual threat. Not dual threat, but vertical threat for sure. He's actually going to get a pass. Kalan Atkins, he hauls this one in. Oh my goodness. See, we have a number of potential difference makers on this team. Um, whether their stats are fantastic right now, you know, that's all right. We have big plans for the future. And these big, fast, physical receivers, exactly what we want. And when they make catches like that, I mean, it's showing why they have been good draft picks. George Kittle getting his first catch of the year. Broncos keep bringing the stacked box. Very difficult to run the football. But here's Joey Cummings, the rookie. And Cummings showing off the speed. Oh my goodness, Joey Cummings. 45 yards, and he is riding on the ground. Cummings in his pants. In his pants, there might have been something. I don't know if he was taking out uh, a pen, autograph, the ball, and it to a fan. But the rookie, the second round pick, out of somewhere making a really nice play 45 yards to the house more punts to come I'm sure no pun intended on that one that was actually quite fortuitous come on run the ball they're not going to and that is outside Mertine can't get there and Anderson gets his feet down the first round pick Willis Burdine has looked out of place the entire game. Has not been able to make a play. Hoping Burdine can get his stuff together here in the uh, in the second half as we have about a minute to play. But primary goal is stopping them here. Near the goal line. That's to the outside and CJ Anderson's open. Was that a Tampa 2? Did Burdine not hold his flat? Yeah, he just wasn't there. He gotta be there. Burdine keeps getting targeted. And he keeps not coming up for the 49ers. No pun intended. We got Joey Cummings back at it. He's coming up with big plays. It's a return almost to the 30 yet again. That's a player that has the potential to break one at any moment. Even on the kickoff team. Here we go, though. First and 10. Garoppolo Goat 
No time wasted, but he gets sacked from behind. Pressure comes in again. Is that Von Miller? Is that Von Miller making that play? Very well could have been. He's playing right end for the 49ers. Excuse me, not the 49ers. And Josh Gordon didn't move. I'm going to call a timeout as Marquise Goodwin catches it. Josh Gordon did not move. High as a kite, refused to run his route. Another snap. Of course, that is the thing that happens. And Garoppolo going to throw it. And that's picked off by Chris Harris Jr. There's no way. Tried to lead that ball for Carlos Hyde. And Chris Harris turned into the receiver. And that ball was picked off. That is brutal. And that ball is thrown deep. Where is anyone? Jaquiski Tart brings him down inside the five. But no one was marking Emmanuel Sanders there. And he just took off. That could have been really bad. Here's play action. End around and Garoppolo is shut the fuck down by Shaquille Barrett. Oh my god. What a terrible fucking play. Coverage has not been great today from this 49ers team. Don't know if that's a slider thing or uh, that's just, you know, the, the ratings of the players. But we are all over CJ Anderson, backing him down. We need pressure. He's getting playmakered, and there's the pressure. Finally, Solomon Thomas gets to the quarterback and brings him down. Third and 18. I wasn't even aware the CPU could playmaker. Third and 18. Is he just going to check down? He is. Ruben Foster got to wrap up. Fucking, there, there's nothing I can do. I can't, I'm in position to make the tackle and this game just spins out, jukes out anybody. I'm not over pursuing. You just, I'm not going for hit sticks. I tried to wrap up. First and 10, Carlos Hyde gets it. Carlos Hyde bowls one over for his most impressive run of the day thus far. But so far, the one who stole the show at running back subtly was Joey Cummings. On one carry, he took it 45 yards to the house for one of the only two touchdowns 49ers have gotten all day. Is once again, Jimmy Garoppolo finds Janu Smith. I'm going to need Trent Brown to pick up a block. Jimmy Garoppolo throwing. It's Janu Smith for the first down. If they, They've been on the same page the entire game. Janu Smith looking really impressive thus far. Second and 10 handoff, Carlos Hyde, and he has some room to work with. Bowls over one, Carlos Hyde. That might be his new impressive run of the day. Nine rushes, 42 yards, as he is trying to get to that four yards per carry mark. He's got it right now, trying to hold on. First and 10, here's Cummings. He breaks a tackle, breaks another. Joey Cummings stumbles forward. 10 yards, three rushes, 68 yards, and a TD. He is making stuff happen. We're going to throw that ball. It's Josh Gordon end zone touchdown. His first touchdown with the 49ers. Of course, subsequently his first touchdown on the year. And this is still a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. And other potentially. It's 2017 or 2018 when you're seeing this. I don't, I don't really care actually. Fuck it. it. Ladies and gentlemen. And let's be honest. Gentlemen. Trevor Simeon with C.J. Anderson split out wide. Not out wide. That's over the middle. And that's picked off by Ruben Foster. User pick. Easy reads. The cat in the hat somehow. Ruben Foster with his second interception of the game. Off a tip. Who made that play? That is the real player who made that play. Was that Ray Ray Armstrong who jumped in front of that? Tipped the ball in the air. Ruben Foster capitalizes. And on the play where we had to make the play... On the down that we had to make the biggest play of the game. We showed up and get the ball right back. Here's second and eight. Garoppolo rolling out. Sending a man upfield. Throwing outside as Josh Gordon keeps his feet in bounds and there is an injury. Do not be Garoppolo. Do not be Garoppolo. Someone on Denver, please. Jimmy's safe. Josh is safe. All right, we're in business. Carlos side to the outside. He catches his first pass of the season. Kind of what we have uh, Joey Cummings for, but Carlos Hyde shows he can do it too. His first catch. Rapolo, and he takes a sack, trying to find more space. 
more time. Shaquille Barrett brutalizing the offensive line. And it's Marquise Goodwin with a strained tricep. He's out for the game. On a play he wasn't really even involved in. That's going to give more time to Kalan Adkins. Trent Taylor is going to see some more snaps. Sanchez Heaney, of course, going to be his direct replacement. As Garoppolo looking, finding time, throwing off the mark on third and 15. It's a 60-yard field goal to tie the game. Wind is in favor of the Niners. Brandon McManus will kick. That ball is up. Kick is good. Tie ball game. McManus drills it from 60. 24 all. That's why you go out and you sign yourself a kicker. Very even game so far, at least in terms of total yardage. Both teams have gotten those yardage in different ways. As mainly the ground game of San Francisco has really won it for him. And that ball is going to be lobbed over the middle. And Emmanuel Sanders nearly in triple coverage through traffic makes the 29-yard catch. That is a first down. Wow, what a throw from Simeon. Who is that? Denver pretty much in the driver's seat, but San Francisco holds their own fate in the balance. Second and nine. Looks to be a play action. No, it's an actual run. CJ Anderson up the middle, and Ray Ray Armstrong can be called for a face mask. You dumbass. It's going to be a throw. Pressure. It's Solomon Thomas again. Very, very critical play. Crucial sack as San Fran actually is applying pressure on this repugnant Denver offensive line. Finally getting pressure. Not a whole lot of that last season. Here's second and 15. That is over the middle. And Ray Ray Armstrong lands the hit. Ball is loose. Aaron Merritt recovers. That is a big time play from the rookie to recover. But Ray Ray Armstrong jarring the ball loose. And San Fran now controls their own fate, their own destiny. Got to start making plays here. Got to get the ball in the end zone. Two-minute drill for Garoppolo. Second and one, they're going to run it. Someone tackle him. C.J. Anderson is free roam to work. A little bit surprised to see Denver actually running the ball here, given the circumstances. But they do anyway. And that ball is underneath. And tackled by Aaron Merritt after it's caught by C.J. Anderson. A minute now to play. Denver is working down the field, though. We're going to have to come up big. Get the necessary stops. And that ball! Oh, no! A spin move! Someone bring him down! Jaquiski Tart does! We over-pursued. Went for the interception. Did not come up with it. That ball was caught by Denver. Balls to the flat. Aaron Merritt tackles him. That clock's going to keep ticking. We need, a, we need a sack. We need a big-time sack here. We need a big-time sack. That ball is dropped. We need a play. We need a play. Third and three. And the sack comes through! DeForest Buckner with his second of the game. The clock continues to tick. Denver is out of field goal range. All Dixon has to do is punt it out of bounds. And he does. And that's going to be time expiring. We're taking it to OT. Here is the coin toss. And it is won by San Francisco. They will elect to receive touchdown wins. What a way to start off season number two. Then with an overtime game versus Denver, we want to see this game end one way, and that's with a San Fran win, with a 49er victory. Unless you're a Broncos fan, you want to see my impending rage, which very likely that could happen. You want San Fran to win. Here we go. Make magic happen, Garoppolo Goat. Going underneath. It's Josh Gordon with a quick reception. At least get out of our own half of the field. So we can make some plays happen and give our defense a chance if we don't score. But we're not thinking about defense other than thinking about defense right now. Carlos Hyde has nearly nowhere to go. It's going to be third and one. And that is the longest yard of the game. Shout out to that movie. That was pretty sick. Not the one with Burt Reynolds, but that one was also good. But the one with Adam Sandler, where he goes to jail for some reason. 
the Michael Vick story. Sanchez Heaney catches the ball on third down. Let's go. Chris Harris is no match for the rookie. I know he has two picks this game. Shut up. Don't you love it? This is what you like here. It's what you love in Madden. And Carlos Hyde's beating his man. Garoppolo down the field. And Carlos Hyde drops the ball and catches it. We're inside the 15, Carlos Hyde. That's why we have Cummings for those situations. But Carlos Hyde is the one. Bobbles it. Makes the catch inside the 15. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Here's the handoff. Cummings spins off one. He goes down. Loss of three. Oh my god. This is his own coverage for sure. Jonu Smith might be open. We're throwing it. Jonu! Jonu Smith, his second touchdown of the game. And this one seals it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. The 49ers managed to clutch this. Vance Joseph, you fucking moron. I don't know why. We're going to win this one 30 to 24. Oh my goodness. What a game. Jimmy Garoppolo Goat. Debatably outperforms Trevor Simeon. Same amount of attempts, two fewer completions, 35 fewer yards, one more touchdown. Same amount of interceptions. It was a rough game. Carlos Hyde, 13 carries for 45 yards, no touchdowns. But look at Joey Cummings on five attempts, broke twice as many tackles as Carlos Hyde. Got a touchdown, broke one off for 45. And, you know, some of those plays, he had nothing. Nothing doing because there was nowhere to go. Johnny Smith, seven catches, 72 yards, and two touchdowns. We had Josh Gordon with a TD as well. That was awesome. We have um, Josh Gordon who led our team in receiving yards with 82 on those four catches. Carlos Hyde had three catches, 59 yards, including that huge one there at the end of the game. Marquise Goodwin had two before going injured. We'll have to check up on him. Sanchez Heaney with the 23 yards on the day. 20-yard catch for Kalan Adkins blocking. I mean, VJ Poole, the rookie, let up two sacks on that right side. He had a really tough matchup. As did Trent Brown going up against Von Miller. And then Shaquille Barrett for those guys. And then Kubiak let up one. Von Miller picked up two sacks, but Shaquille Barrett with three. But look at Solomon Thomas with two. DeForest Buckner with two. Eric Armstead with one. We got pressure on the quarterback. Interceptions. Reuben Foster. Chris Harris went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And that was, a, that was really fun. Ray Ray Armstrong with a huge force fumble. Aaron Merritt with that recovery. And, of course, Chris Harris with the defensive touchdown. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. That was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed it. That was such an awesome game. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. The shit don't run away.